Well, I was not expecting to do a part two, and I know this video is going to be a lot more shorter than the normal stuff that I put out there, because there's only just a few points I, I want to make on this. But basically what happened was I saw this post on uh, Facebook, and it was from a, a page that I wasn't even subscribed to, but it was one of those posts where, you know, it's very famous in kind of New Age circles too, but it's one of those posts where basically they uh, talk about like, oh, I don't trust anyone, and people did me wrong, and the best thing that I could do for myself was just to love myself, and, you know, they treat it like it's independence. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, none of that is independence. That is all insecurity, and there's a huge difference here. Uh, you're doing this behavior out of insecurity, not independence. Independence is when you are strong enough and mature enough, emotionally mature enough, to take those past relationships, learn from them, and acknowledge this is the behavior that I will and will not tolerate. And I say will tolerate because you know you, we all know that no one's perfect. But then there's, to, uh, there's a behavior that you're not going to put up with, right? And you learn from those experiences. Uh, you learn from what, what went wrong in the first place. Maybe it was because you were attracted to somebody just because of superficial reasons. There's some shit like that, right? So you learn from your experiences, but you're also mature, emotionally mature, independent, uh, enough to know that not everybody out there is, is bad, you know? And it's, it, again, it's, it, it, it's more down to, like, using discernment and knowing what to look for and, you know, all that other stuff. It, again, it comes from emotional maturity. Uh, but especially when somebody actually shows interest in you, you know, that you're, you're open, but you're not too open. You know, you're, you're closed, but not too closed off. And it's exactly what I mentioned in the last video about the checkpoint. Right? Anybody can come in as long as I meet these criteria. As long as and, and, and these criteria are reasonable. Right? Okay. So that's to me, that's what independence is all about. So when you love yourself, you love yourself, you respect yourself, but again, it's not out of hurt or insecurity. It's not I don't trust people because, you know, people are trash, you know. That that's insecurity. Anyway. Second point I was gonna make. Um most of what I'm talking about, I want everyone to listen to understand this. Most of what I've been talking about is geared towards women. Okay? I know there are some men out there who are going to listen to this and they can relate to it, and that's fine. That's cool. You want to be on this channel? Fine. Um, but I'm going to be completely, completely honest here. When I talk about this stuff, I'm mostly re referring to my experience with women who, you know, who have gone through this sort of thing. Um, and if you get up my comment section... <laughs> And you try to be all buddy buddy with me and be like, yeah, man, you know, I hate it when women do this and this and this and this. And it, it, it to me, it comes off as kind of just complaining, you know, just like you're trying to be all buddy, be like, yeah, you say it to those women. I'm going to ignore you because that's not where I'm coming from. That's not what I'm doing when I'm doing and I don't want to be buddy buddy with you. Okay. <laughs> Now, I was originally going to go and list a bunch of these like different things that happened to me. Uh, when, when experiencing, like when I'm trying to pursue somebody um, who's like this, and I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use one example. Um, so, uh, whenever I'm interested in somebody, the only thing I care about is trying to get to know them. I don't care about anything else. I don't care what other people say or, you know, circumstance. I don't care. I like you. I'm going to try to talk to you. Simple as that. Uh, what I have noticed is these kinds of women, typically when men are on their channels or anywhere else, wherever this is being done at, when men are giving them superficial attention, they eat that stuff up. They have no problem hitting that heart light button and you know reciprocating that kind of energy uh, being given out by these men. But as soon as I show up and I actually show interest in them, boundaries, blockages, mountains, <laughs> all this stuff gets, you know, put in front of me. And for a long time, I was always wondering, like, why is that the case? Like, I really, I like them. There's something about them. I want to get to know them. And want. But why are they, why are these guys? Well, it, because this energy is easy to digest. 
it doesn't require um, to trust anyone. It doesn't require for them to open up. It doesn't require that. So don't eat that up, you know. But any anyone who and we're we're more specifically talking about someone that even maybe they are interested. Like if there was absolutely no interest, then that that's a totally different thing. But I'm saying there's interest there. There's curiosity, any of that, but yet they're putting these blockages up because of past fears. You know, they're doing this again because of the cost, the, the perceived cost. I can't, I can open up, I can, I can reciprocate this, you know, the superficial attention because it doesn't, it's going to cost me much. But as soon as somebody is asking, you know, for me to, you know, to, to get involved, oh no, you know, <laughs> blockages, all that stuff. Um, and that has led me, in a lot of ways to um, to get frustrated, not necessarily at the person per se, but just frustrated because, um, of, again, I'm just all I'm trying to do is actually get to know someone, have a conversation, and it and if it's not working out, I start you know doubting myself. Like, is there something wrong that I'm doing? I'm just I'm just trying to be genuine here, all right, um, and. You know, and it causes causes me to uh, at some point wonder if there are are there any genuine people out there? Are there anyone anyone out there that actually says yes? Let's talk. Yes, let's get to know each other. Yes, let's not have all these ridiculous boundaries. Let's you know let things just kind of flow. You know, is there anyone? And you know, and and so that's where my my the trick comes with me is I have to be mature enough <laughs> to know. You know to know why these things occur, but understand that not everyone is out there, and that's why I still take those risks. That's why I still will approach. That's why I still will try to do what I do, and I will not give up until I find that one that I've been wanting. But I mean, I, I think I had something else to say. I can't remember what it was, but I think that that's where I need to end it. So that's when I'm gonna end it. If you listen to this, thank you for listening. I will talk to you later.